What happens to your body when you masturbate regularly? The myths, science, and facts. Introduction. The truth about masturbation. Masturbation, it's a topic often surrounded by myths, misconceptions, and even guilt. But what really happens to your body when you engage in this natural act regularly? Is it harmful or beneficial? Does it affect your mental and physical health in the long run? Surveys show that over 90% of men and around 75% of women engage in self-pleasure regularly, proving that it is a common human behavior. Yet, many people still worry about its effects, whether it impacts sexual performance, hormone levels, or even overall well-being. In this article, we'll separate fact from fiction, break down the science, and explore the pros and cons of masturbation. The Science what happens in your body when you masturbate your brain releases a cocktail of feel-good chemicals including dopamine the pleasure neurotransmitter that enhances mood and motivation oxytocin often called the love hormone it fosters relaxation and emotional bonding serotonin helps regulate mood and contributes to overall well-being endorphins Natural painkillers that reduce stress and enhance pleasure. These chemicals explain why masturbation often leads to a sense of relaxation, improved mood, and even better sleep. Additionally, masturbation serves as a form of self-discovery, allowing individuals to understand their bodies and preferences better, which can improve communication with partners in intimate relationships. Debunking the most common myths. 1. Does masturbation lead to blindness or hairy palms? One of the oldest and most absurd myths is that masturbation causes blindness or excessive hair growth on the palms. This misconception has no scientific basis and likely originated from moral or religious beliefs aimed at discouraging self-pleasure. If such claims were true, we'd see a global epidemic of blind people with hairy palms which is clearly not the case. 2. Does frequent masturbation cause erectile dysfunction? A common concern is whether frequent masturbation leads to erectile dysfunction, ED. Research indicates that masturbation does not directly cause ED. In fact, it can strengthen pelvic floor muscles, which play a key role in sexual performance and orgasm control. However, Excessive exposure to pornography has been linked to porn-induced erectile dysfunction, PIED, where individuals develop unrealistic expectations of sex and struggle with arousal in real-life situations. The takeaway? Moderation is key, and if porn use becomes excessive, taking a break may help restore sensitivity and improve real-life intimacy. 3. Does masturbation lower testosterone levels? Contrary to popular belief, masturbation does not deplete testosterone levels. While there may be temporary fluctuations in testosterone before and after orgasm, no long-term reduction occurs. In fact, some studies suggest that abstaining from ejaculation for a few days may slightly increase testosterone, but the effect is temporary and not significant enough to impact health. Additionally, athletes in ancient times avoided sex or masturbation before competitions, believing it enhanced aggression and focus. However, modern science shows no strong evidence that abstaining from ejaculation improves athletic performance. 4. Can masturbation decrease sensitivity? Masturbation itself does not cause desensitization, but certain habits can impact sensitivity. For example, if someone consistently uses intense pressure or specific motions, they may become conditioned to that sensation, making it harder to reach orgasm through other means. To maintain sensitivity, it's recommended to vary techniques and avoid excessive pressure or reliance on artificial stimulation that differs from real-life intimacy. 5. Can masturbation be addictive? 
For most people, masturbation is a healthy and normal activity. However, when it begins to interfere with daily life, such as skipping social interactions, work, or intimacy with a partner, it may be a sign of compulsive sexual behavior. If someone feels a lack of control over their urges, seeking guidance from a therapist may be beneficial. Interestingly, some studies suggest that controlled ejaculation can be beneficial for men experiencing chronic pelvic pain or testicular discomfort, as it may relieve built-up tension in the reproductive system. 6. Does masturbation harm relationships? Masturbation does not necessarily mean a relationship is failing. Many couples masturbate separately or even together as part of a healthy sex life. It only becomes a problem if it replaces intimacy with a partner or creates emotional distance. Open communication is key in maintaining a balanced relationship. The Benefits of Masturbation When practiced in moderation, masturbation offers several health benefits. Stress Relief The endorphin release can help manage anxiety and stress. Better Sleep Many people find it easier to fall asleep after self-pleasure due to the relaxation effect. Improved Sexual Health It can help with sexual dysfunction by improving pelvic muscle control and enhancing orgasmic response. Self-Exploration Knowing what brings pleasure can lead to better intimacy with a partner. Pain Relief Some studies suggest it may help relieve menstrual cramps and mild chronic pain. Conclusion Should you worry about masturbation? Masturbation is a natural and common aspect of human sexuality, offering both physical and psychological benefits. The myths surrounding it, whether it's causing blindness, lowering testosterone, or destroying relationships, are largely based on misinformation. Science shows that, unless it becomes compulsive or interferes with daily life, Masturbation is a normal, healthy activity. Understanding the facts allows for a more informed, guilt-free approach to self-pleasure. So rather than viewing masturbation as something to be ashamed of, consider it a form of self-care. Like anything in life, balance is key, and open discussions about sexuality can help break down unnecessary taboos. Always remember, Taking care of your body and mind is important because you are worth it.